Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be filming the how I found out I am pregnant with twins. So this is a pretty juicy story, you know, because twins, yeah, that's pretty fucking insane. So damn, let me make myself comfortable for this topic. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take like deep breaths because damn, like twins, that's crazy. So after I found out that I was pregnant, I called up my OBGYN that I had for Ruby. Hey, listen, like, your girl's knocked up again. She needs an appointment ASAP. So they're like, oh, okay. I, I set up an appointment and appointment time came, fast forward. I get to the doctor, you know, I start filling out some papers, the usual things that I have to do, last menstrual period and all that good stuff. They call my name for an ultrasound because that's usually what my doctor does. He usually makes us like go get an ultrasound first and then like see him within that same appointment. Like I freaking love this ultrasound tech with Ruby. She was the most amazing ultrasound tech. She's my favorite. Every time that I that I get her to do my ultrasound, like I'm super, super happy because she's so amazing. I was so happy to see her again. It was just, you know, like, hi, like, how are you and stuff? Like, I haven't seen you in a while. She's pregnant, so I congratulated her on her pregnancy. This, she looks so cute pregnant, I love it. I lay on the bed, we start talking, she starts telling me like, how far along are you? And I believe I was like, if I remember correctly, I was already about eight weeks pregnant. She asked me, she's like, have you had an ultrasound done for this pregnancy and stuff? Have you, you know, like, checked it out or anything? And I was like, no, like I haven't gotten anything done. Um, this is my first time, you know, seeing someone for the baby. She says, oh, okay. So then she like puts the lubricant on my, on my stomach. And then she like starts doing an ultrasound. She starts asking me questions. She starts like telling me like, oh, like how's life been and stuff. And I like told her, oh, it's been great. You know, I was actually doing surrogacy for a while. And I was telling her like about my surrogacy journey, how I had twins implanted into my uterus. Unfortunately, it was a fail and how like it um, basically affected me. And we were just having a conversation, you know, talking, updating. And she's like, oh, okay, so you were doing surrogacy with that, you know, like she was telling me like, how cool is that? Like, you know, it's it's something like very selfless and very inspiring for many women because not a lot of women can do that. She asked me again, she's like, so you haven't gotten a ultrasound for this pregnancy, right? She's like, I'm not sure if I already asked you that. And then I said, no, I haven't, like this is my first time. So she's like, oh, okay, she's like, are you ready for two? And I said, what? Like, I started laughing. I was like, <laughs> I said, no, stop. And um, that's exactly what I said. I said, like, stop. And like, I just kept laughing because I thought she was joking, you know, like, I know she wouldn't joke about that, but I just thought like, maybe she would, <laughs> you know? So I was like, stop. And she looks at me. And then she's like, she didn't say anything. Like she was just smiling. And then I was like, are you serious? Like, are you for real? And she said, yeah. And she tilts the screen, guys. She tilts the screen. And she goes, baby A, baby B. I'm like, Guys, when I told you I went from a laughing, bright full face to like a plain, like my soul got sucked out of my body, plain face, it really did. Like, I was like, what the, f like, no, I was like, no, like, I feel like my reaction was kind of like surprising to her. She was like, oh shit, like, <laughs> damn, you know? I I don't know, I feel like she felt like, oh my God. Um, 
I'm not sure if like I gave her the reaction she was expecting because I mean she already knows I have three kids at home and she knows like this would be five now so it's just kind of like damn you know I I know she understood but at the same time it's kind of like the way my my expression changed within like a second was crazy but that's how like shocked and like confused I was like I was like oh my god like I really thought to myself I I was really you know having like these big emotions over having just one child and now coming to find out that I'm having two what the hell but I'm telling you guys my reaction my expression was just crazy I went blank I didn't know what to say I was like oh my gosh my family like they're gonna be shocked like I'm shocked already by myself and don't get me wrong like I know my family is gonna be there to support me through whatever and any through anything I go through but it was just kind of like oh my god like I'm really having five kids this is not gonna be four kids like I thought it was gonna be this is gonna be five kids my you know it was it was just kind of like what the what's going on you know and she told me she's like well you know maybe since uh you were doing surrogacy and you were taking all these hormones and stuff it could have you know maybe it, she said I'm not a doctor I can't tell you what it is or why it happened she's like but my prediction would be like maybe since you were doing surrogacy and you were taking so many hormones it your body still had that around in inside and it, basically it's telling your body to produce more than it should you know so I was like that makes sense you know <clears throat> I didn't know um because from Zach's side of the family there's no twins like no twins run in his family and for what I knew no twins run in my family so I was like it has to be surrogacy you know surrogacy like the medications I was given had to have been from the surrogacy like I'm pregnant with twins because of the hormones I was taking you know, and I didn't mind that. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to blame surrogacy. I love surrogacy. And to be completely honest with you guys, I'm still going to pursue surrogacy. Simply because you guys know when I have my mind stuck on something, I'm going to do it. I'm going to accomplish it until it gets done. And that's how I've always been. Um, with high school, you know, I got pregnant um, very young. I still went back to high school. I got my diploma right on time. I, with college, uh, I got pregnant with Ruby and I had to put, you know, I had to leave for a certain amount of time um, because I had to. And I still went back and I got my college degree. I got my associates for criminal justice. And whenever I have a goal set for myself, I have to get it done. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Whatever obstacle gets put in my way, I'm going to get through it and I'm going to get what I need to get done, done. So if we're being quite honest, I'm going to continue to do um, surrogacy after I have these babies, you know? And it's, it's a crazy thought. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys are behind the screen like saying, damn, this is crazy, you know? But... I mean, it's just something that I am very passionate about. And um, yeah, but I feel like next time with my surrogacy, I'm not going to be okay with having twins. Like, I don't want twins anymore in my body. Like, these are the only twins you're going to see in my body forever. Next time, like with surrogacy, it's only going to be one embryo transferred into my uterus because, you know, no twins, strictly. Um so yeah anyways back to the story go straight to my mom's house and i show her the picture of the twins like i surprised her i got her reaction on camera and everything um i just you know didn't post it but she's like you know what she told me on your dad's side of the family your great-grandmother was pregnant with twins however she miscarried them 
Um, so I had to, I had to verify that with my grandma. So I called my grandma after that and I said, Hey grandma, did your mom have twins? Like was she pregnant with twins and stuff? And my grandma told me, yes, yeah, she was pregnant with twins, but you know, back in the day, your grandma uh, worked in the fields. So, um, and stuff like that. So she put like so much stress on her body that she miscarried the babies and i'm like huh okay well you know that makes sense like so i found out that day that i found out i was having twins that twins really run in my family but honestly i'm still sticking to the belief that maybe all the hormones from surrogacy did cause me to you know have twins so it's just pretty crazy and it's pretty mind-blowing but anyways I went I went back to that to my apartment and um I showed the ultrasound pictures to you know Zach and you guys see on the um video his reaction and stuff which was you know like it, I I felt like it was a beautiful reaction um it was very like <laughs> it was quite shocking for all of us and um even though it was shocking and totally unexpected, I do see it as a blessing, you know, but it's it's just still very hard for me to process it. And um, don't get me wrong, like it has affected me in a way to where like, kind of, I guess you can say negative, but both positive, you know, it's just like, I feel like I'm constantly like fighting my emotions simply because this was a this was very tough news you know because i already have three kids and because i i was you know pursuing surrogacy and stuff so this pregnancy definitely really stopped my plans um it pushed me back like 10 10 steps back and it's it kind of seems like every single time i try to do something um for my life and something uh that will make me happy it seems like i always end up pregnant and don't get me wrong, like, I'm not, like, it's my fault, you know? It's it's uh, mine and Zach's fault. But that still doesn't change the fact that I'm gonna, you know, feel some type of way about it. So, I'm not saying, like, you know, feel sorry for me because it, don't feel sorry for me. Like, that's my fault. But then again, like, it does, you know, impact me and, um it does affect me. I know I have the support of my family and my family's always there for me. I have the support that I need and I'm gonna get through it and I'm gonna, you know, make the best of it. And once this pregnancy's done, I'm gonna go right back to my goals. I'm gonna go right back to what I wanted to do with my life because I'm not gonna let anything stop me. And we're gonna get it done, guys. We're gonna get it done. So stick with me through these journeys, crazy life that I'm, you know, basically putting myself in. But I'm definitely a very blessed person. And even though I was supposed to give twins to another family, I was blessed with twins myself. So it was just kind of like, whoa, you know, like, God, what is your plan? What? what what is your plan for my life why like it's just so many questions that i just want to ask god like why 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 you know but we're gonna get through this and we're gonna make the best of it and we're gonna get it done so next video is gonna be um how far along i am and all that good stuff, uh, the genders and stuff. So stay tuned for that YouTube video. I'm gonna film that YouTube video another day just because I feel like I need to go um, to the store and get some stuff done and go eat breakfast because it's already about to be 11 in the morning and I still haven't ate breakfast. Um, so yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being here for me and always supporting me and always being there for me, showing me love, showing me support on my direct messages on Instagram, on everything, you know, you guys are so amazing 
and I'm so appreciative of you guys and I love you guys so so much like I know you guys are behind the screen like damn girl five kids you're fucking crazy but yeah anyways guys it's in God's hands and there's nothing I can do but pray about it and stay hopeful and keep my faith so yeah I love you guys so much I'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye